Now, the University Teachers Association of Ghana on Monday, 27th September, met government over the demands they were making for improved service conditions. UTAG on the 2nd of August also began an industrial action over what it said was a failure of government to restore the 2012 salary levels for the members. We also know that UTAG suspended its 13-day strike in August after reaching a memorandum of understanding with government to begin negotiations on their service conditions. However, days after the expiration of that MOU, some members of UTAG have expressed disappointment over the failure of government to address their concerns. The meeting was expected to bring finality to the lingering concern of the association. And so uh, join on a line, we'll be speaking in a short while to UTAG officials to understand what the current state of this particular uh, negotiation is and why they appear to be dissatisfied with the negotiations and also the implementation of that MOU that was agreed between government and the UTAG officials. As in, when we get any of the UTAG officials, we'll engage them.